This is Esther Lin for MMAfighting.com, and I wanted to share some of my favorite images from UFC 166. Fight week started off with studio portrait sessions for the UFC. Houston photographer Andy Hemingway covered the workouts in media day while I took photos that end up in programs, posters, and graphics. Since I missed the workouts in media day, I wanted to make up for my lost time by shooting some training sessions and fighters hanging out in the hotel after my days were done so I could share how my week was going. I watched Sarah Kaufman train with fellow UFC bantamweight Julie Kedzie, where the mood was light, and I ran into Sean Jordan, who was showing off his new Batman outfit. Here is a fight week ritual for the fighters with long hair. Sarah Kaufman is getting her hair braided before her last weight cut. Sarah and stylist Monique Jordan watch videos together on an iPad, ooing, aahing, and laughing to pass the time through one of the many formalities of fighting. It's weigh-in day. Always having fun, John Dodson takes the stage and gets a quick photo with Octagon girl Chrissy Blair before stepping on the scale. Dodson shows he is relaxed, overjoyed to be fighting. When this fight was announced, I knew it would be thrilling. Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez brought fierce tension on stage as everyone nervously watched them face off both fighters beating their chests in a war dance. Such great promise for the following night. The first time they faced off, Cain Velasquez held a standard face-off stance, while Junior Dos Santos held his fists out like this, near the champ's chin. In the subsequent rematches, Velasquez would not allow Dos Santos to disrespect him in this way without reprisal, each time matching Dos Santos's hands. Fist to chin, eyes narrow, task set. Fight night started brutally with raucous action in every preliminary bout. Here, after savagely knocking out TJ Waldberger, Adlan Amagov has his hand raised while doctors attend to the flattened Texan, calling for a stretcher. It was such an interesting series of strikes that led to the end. And here, I stood back watching the scene of triumph and agony play out in this violent theater. C.B. Dalloway seemed fired up, taunting Tim Bosch like I haven't seen from the wrestler. Dalloway yelled as he caught Bosch and threw him to the ground. While he did poke Tim Bosch in the eye, I still felt Dalloway should have won, especially since he dictated the form and pace of this fight. Adding another vicious knockout to both the already violent card and to his camp, John Dodson celebrates with an array of acrobatics. And after jumbling the landing to a second backflip, he laughs boisterously, so that we could hear it through the arena's roar and even in the broadcast. This is a fighter who enjoys his job. Sarah Kaufman also enjoys fighting, despite dropping the decision to Jessica I. My partner at MMA Fighting, Casey, took this backstage as Kaufman spoke to the press. I've known Sarah since my days at Strike Force. The first time I shot her fight in 2009, I took a similar photo of Kaufman proudly displaying a black eye hours after the show. In her subsequent fights, we would make it a tradition to take a post-fight portrait, win or lose. As if this night wasn't action-packed enough, Gabriel Gonzaga adds another knockout to the tally. Then here, watches the replay as doctors and officials tend to Sean Jordan. I like this photo. It's so strange to see a fighter in the cage completely alone. And he's not alone, but I like the illusion of this image. And then, what we knew would be fight of the night played out beyond our wildest expectations. The pace of these lightweights sent the crowd into such a fervor they cheered for Sanchez even as he ate punch after punch. Every moment of this war, our collective hearts beat rapidly to the point of cardiac arrest. Even Dana White was so wired, he ran over to the media tables to express his frenzied elation. White animatedly went down the line of reporters, telling them he needed to share his excitement with all of them. Melendez versus Sanchez brought out this genuine exhilaration, the kind that truly made you get up out of your seat. As these warriors spoke with Ariel Hawani after their battle, K1 
Casey took this photo, again with his phone, which is my favorite camera because it's almost always within reach. Melinda stares sideways into Casey's lens as Sanchez is being interviewed. Arms akimbo, stance apart, still shirtless, burning gaze, heart full of fire. Nothing could follow Melendez versus Sanchez. Despite Cormier's varied and constant attacks, the fight with Roy Nelson didn't seem as thrilling, but it too was action-packed. Cormier threw everything but the kitchen sink at Roy Nelson, including the spinning backfist. By this point in the night, the fans were already so charged. When Dos Santos marched across the cage, as always, throwing his gauntlet down, Velasquez refused to let Dos Santos claim the center of the cage and met him in the middle. I went deaf. It was so loud. I was so excited, too. I forgot to focus properly, resulting in this soft image that I wanted to include because this moment was so electrifying, I think I will remember it always. And when the fight began, it started to look much like their last meeting, except this time, much of the fight would happen against the cage right in front of our row of photographers. Their proximity to us meant that we were also being showered by a rain of blood and sweat. I actually felt blood land and trickle down the side of my head. I turned to look at my fellow shooters and they too needed to clean their lenses and faces at the end of it. And just by luck, Velasquez's face is in this shot as he bludgeons Dos Santos. I'm in a violent peekaboo game with the referee's arm. When the fight ends, Velasquez shows more emotion than I've seen all week. Just a brief celebration of his victory, punctuation to the trilogy, an emphatic answer to questions raised by his first loss to the Brazilian. Cain Velasquez remains the heavyweight champion. As Velasquez explained the bumps on his head to be a result of him grinding his head into the cage as he fought Dos Santos, both Cormier and Melendez smile at him. Cormier entranced by his teammates' win, so happy with their double success. There's such an honest joy, a palpable admiration between these formidable friends. After the post-fight press conference ends, the victorious Hector Lombard asked the heavyweight champ to sign his program. At the end of the day, there is this beautiful sense of community, a bond forged in battle, a mutual respect for fellow competitors. And it renews my love of the sport of fighting each time I am fortunate enough to be a witness to these quiet but remarkable moments. This is Esther Lynn for MMAfighting.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Vegas.